big dramatic video today. We're gonna break down the secret SMMA strategy that pretty much no one talks about. I've not found anybody on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok that are talking about this strategy right here. And this strategy is gonna teach you how to sign clients with as little as 50 messages a week, 10 messages a day, and getting up to you know 15, 16, or 17K a month in your agency, which is exactly where Ty is at right now. We're gonna be breaking down how to use text messages to sign clients. You heard that right, not Instagram messages, not LinkedIn messages, not cold email, text messages, SMS, outreach with your phone. Cool, so we're gonna break this down into eight or nine topics. Topic number one is just breaking down how this worked for Ty. So Ty, let us know. How did you come up with this strategy and why does it work? So I was driving down the highway one day and I saw this billboard mm -hmm. for real estate agents, which is the niche I work with. And the billboard said, buying or selling a home, call or text me. And then it had the real estate agent's phone number on there. It didn't say, send me a message on Instagram. It didn't say, shoot me an email. It was call or text me. So I know that's where they're hanging out. I know that's where they're spending their time. So if I want to get in front of them to sell them my services, that's where it needs to happen. Cool, so you, you've broken down why someone should choose SMS, right? I think it's also important to know when it works, okay? So for you, you figured out for your niche, for real estate agents, it works, they're on that platform. Are there industries you can think of that are like big red flags for text message outreach? Industries that you know this probably wouldn't work for? Mm -hmm. Well, e-commerce in particular because they're all online. You're not gonna be texting the founder of an e-commerce brand. <laughs> you might be able to get them on LinkedIn. You might be able to get them with an email, but there are lots of other niches out there where something like this won't work, but there are also niches out there where this is maybe the only way to get in front of most of the prospects there. Okay, awesome. So Ty, if someone has decided, yes, I think I have an industry where messages would work, what do they need to know in terms of software? How do they set all this up? Um, how does that work? Do you literally just do it from your phone? Or are you like that? Are you using an app or software to help with the process? So the very first thing they need to know is where are you actually going to get these phone numbers? Mm. Right? So are you going to go on websites and manually find the phone numbers? Is there some sort of database out there that has them? Are you going to pull the phone number right off their Instagram with their contact button? There's lots of different ways you can get that. So the very first thing is how are you going to get those numbers? Second thing is the actual platform that we use to do outreach for SMS. And we don't use my actual phone. Okay. We have an app, it's called Text Now, and it's completely free to use in the US at least. I know the rules do change for some countries, but what it is is you sign up with an email and it will give you a free phone number with a local area code. Awesome, which brings us on to the next point, right? Which is the importance of knowing that local area code for your outreach. So for you, in the Florida region, you know you're gonna get a phone through Text Now with that local area code, which mm -hmm. makes sense because if they get one from uh, an Irish number or, you know, again, even just maybe a number from like Texas or somewhere else, they're gonna be confused or it's gonna seem a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, it's just knowing that local area code. For people that, I guess, don't have a specific area locked down, what would you recommend? Would you recommend to them pick an area for at least, you know, let's say a couple months and just run with that and then pick another area mm -hmm. and get a new code you know, a new area code with a new number and keep the process going. Uh, what do you think would work best? I think it could work either way. If mm. you wanted to have that local area code, it's definitely going to help make you feel more familiar mm. to your prospect. But if you don't have that, I mean, it's still a matter of you're going to be able to get in front of them. Mm. That first yep. few numbers, the first few digits that signify that you're from that area, I don't think those are all that significant, but it definitely can help in building that trust with you from the get-go. Cool, so right now, Ty is just opening up his iPad, so we're just gonna have a look at the scripts that he uses to sign clients. So we're not gonna give you, obviously, word for word his script, because one, that won't work for you, this is very specific to his industry, his sales approach, and a bunch of different things, um, but secondly, you're just gonna get better results if you take what we show you and put your own unique twist on this, and of course, track your numbers, measure the results and just keep tweaking it until you get good results. Okay, so quick caveat guys, we're gonna break this down right now. We've got it up on the iPad. Uh, a really important note is that Ty's outreach approach is what we call the student approach. So he's not messaging a real estate agent, pitching them on a sales call necessarily. He kind of uses a, a couple techniques to disguise the call, where it's a call where he's you know approaching them as a student who wants to learn more about their business and potentially give them some marketing advice on the back end. Um, we have some other videos where we've mentioned this topic. We discuss it in incredible detail inside of our program and Ty teaches it to a bunch of our students every single week and it works incredibly well. So if you wanna learn that, definitely consider joining the program and keep that in mind as we show you this, as it's not your typical, hey, book a strategy call with me approach. 
So the very first message we send is, hey, is this realtor name? Insert it there. And the reason we do that is because if you're a realtor and you get a text message, especially from your local area code for someone asking from you, the answer is always, yes, of course, how can I help you, right? So that tells us which percent of the phone numbers we're getting are good. You don't need to actually track that, but for us, it's about 93% of the time, they'll see that message and respond to it. And when they respond to it, that's when I move in and introduce myself. I say, hey, my name is Ty Livesey. I'm a student at the University of Florida and I'm studying marketing. I had some questions for you about your business and I was curious to know how you do these specific things. Uh, if you'd be interested in getting on a quick 15, 20 minute long call with me where I can ask you these questions and in exchange for your time, give you some free social media advice, I really appreciate that. Now, that is just a rough paraphrase. It's not a word for word, so take that with a grain of salt, but that's the rough framework for this approach. And then from there, if they say yes, we say, great, can I send you over a link to my calendar? It will send you the link to the Zoom call for our meeting. And if they say yes to that, we can shoot them over a copy of a Calendly link, which is what we use to actually schedule the calls. And from there, we have our first call booked in. Awesome, awesome. So Ty, another thing to note is the process, right? With, with outreach, on most platforms, like the outreach I do, if we send a message to someone and they don't respond, we follow up with them. Okay, so like two days later, we'll hit them with another message, basically just bumping up the previous message to, to get their attention. Now, I think this is really important to this approach. You don't do that, and your reasoning why makes a whole lot of sense, and it would probably save people a lot of time and effort if they didn't know that and they started doing multiple follow-ups. Mm -hmm. So the reason we don't do follow-ups on that first message is because if you're a realtor and you get a text from a local area code asking for you and you don't respond to it, there's a really, really, really good chance that it's just not your phone number, right? So not all of the leads we get are good. Sometimes websites and databases, they become outdated. So if they don't respond to that first message, we just conclude that they're not there. And that works 93% of the time anyways. So we only lose maybe 7% of that, which is phenomenal for outreach. Next point we want to discuss is the numbers that you do. So the amount of messages that you're sending on a weekly basis and the rough results that you see from that. So we send about 50 messages per week, which is 10 messages five days a week on weekdays. And from those 50 messages, like I said, usually around 90 to 93% of the time, they'll see that first message and respond to us. And then from that flow of 50 messages, we'll get anywhere between eight and sometimes 13 calls booked on the back end. Now, those aren't all going to turn into clients, but to get eight to 13 out of 50 messages, you probably won't find that anywhere else, to be honest. <laughs> pretty damn good and it's why you know the approach I use for outreach is very different and the results are very different and that's why we do quantity uh, over quality in that case. Uh, Ty, awesome stuff, I think people are going to get a lot of value from this and it's probably opened a lot of people's eyes to SMS, you know, I personally didn't really even ever think about it before you came into the program and started doing it yourself. Um, now you obviously, like I said, you teach it very in depth to our students, we've got trainings on it specifically. We have samples of the scripts. We have full breakdowns on, again, how to set up these software, the platforms, etc. And again, we mentioned this in another video we just recorded, but we literally had a student last night on a coaching call. His name is Ross. Ross, if you're watching the video, drop a comment down below. Ross got five calls booked in in one day, so in 24 hours, using this approach. And Ross previously struggled to book meetings, you know, not very good results on different platforms. And it just shows you if you can take what you're doing right now, but just pair that with an incredibly good, powerful strategy, you may be able to five, 10 extra results literally overnight. So if you wanna learn more about this approach and you wanna work with myself and Ty on a weekly basis, consider joining the Six Figure Accelerator program. Link to that is down in the description and we hope you got some value from this video.